Tracy. Uh, we're here at your uh, viewing party for uh, Love, Love & Hip Hop New York. And first of all, being a new member to the cast, how, how did you feel your first season was? Oh, it was awesome. It was so much fun. I met a lot of really new friends that are wonderful people. I've worked with a lot of great people in production. All my bosses are great. Fabulous, wonderful experience. Very cool. What was your favorite part about it? Getting my makeup done for free all the time. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I mean, you're looking really good, too, and talking about looking really good, I saw you spread in I Adore magazine. How did that go? Woo, way! Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, you know, I've always modeled, and, you know, hey, shit, I still got it. Why not do it? Joe, Big Joe, the owner of the magazine, asked me, and I said, yeah, why not? What the hell? Did, did uh, Chief ever get a look at him and got jealous? You know what? Keep on watching. You'll get your answer. Oh, really? Okay. That's what's up. Um... Was there a least favorite moment, especially like any of your scenes with Cheek or any of the cast members? Um, probably my least favorite moment up until this point was some of my bad hair days, I think. Really? Probably, yeah. And then, you know, it's been an emotional time for me because my relationship is really going through a lot of ups and downs. And having a camera magnifying that is not easy. And I mean, speaking of that, because, you know, you put your life out there, so everybody has to comment on what's going on with Chrissy and what she puts out there. How have you been able to, if you paid attention to, like, social media responses, both positive and negative? Well, I've been getting a lot more love than hate. All of the cast members get both. You know, when you when you give yourself to the public, it comes with the territory. Man, that hater shit. Haters are fans, too. Thank, you know, thank you, haters. I love my haters. Um... That shit don't even phase me. For me to care about, you know, what a hater gotta say, I gotta know you and actually, you know, in real life, and these people don't know my heart. They don't know the real Chrissy, the caring, loving, good person. So that shit is just whatever. It comes, you know, like I said, it comes from the territory, but it's all love. I'm getting a lot of love. Very good. Now, did you watch the Grammys last night? Yes, I did. What did you think of the show overall? Well, I saw ACDC, and I've, you know, I've always been a big fan of ACDC. I really wish they wouldn't even did that. And then Madonna, I love Madonna with all my heart. I think she should have done her performance either, maybe. Um, I love Kim's dress. I know the arms were a little long. Um, Beyonce was cute as usual. I mean, what can she ever do wrong? Was Kanye right for what he said about Beyonce deserving the award over Beck? I, I, in my opinion, absolutely. Because, because, um, you know, Kanye is a a big fan of quality music, and he said that at the post interview, and I totally agree. He and I um, have actually met in person. He's a very nice guy, and you know, he takes his craft very seriously. I like Beck, and yes, they they need to get credit where credit is due. But album of the year over Beyonce, like who was really bumping Beck all fucking year? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know anybody. I wasn't. None of my friends were. We were listening to Beyonce. Right. That's to be album of the year. I, I agree. I mean, I listened to her. I actually didn't know he had an album out to the nominations. Me neither. I was like, what? I wish he would have said something. Right. But, so, you know, my last question with you is, I um, first met you when um, um, there was the Get Out Youth, or Get Out Glam Awards. Glam Awards. That's it, the Glam Awards. And um, you presented a cake. So, obviously, you have some strong ties to the um, LGBT community. Can you, like, expound on that a little bit? Oh, yeah. You know, well, I grew up in Baltimore. City, so we had a big um, underground house music. Um, we had a big gay scene. Um, I grew up going to the after hours clubs, the, you know, the gay parties, going to DC, going to tracks, all the fabulous. You remember tracks? Yes, I do. <laughs> I had a lot of transgender friends and stuff growing up in high school and stuff. It's just, you know, it's just um, fabulous. You know, I'm very non judgmental, and you know, it's just. It's been a good part of my life. I, I can't explain it. It's just, um, 
a lot of fun. I, I love going to Vogue nights and stuff because I love going to Vogue nights and stuff because it's just so many people from different walks of life coming there and just expressing themselves, being themselves. And that's just who I am. I just love being free and I love that free spirit and, and that creativity with fashion and hair and makeup and dance and music. So, wonderful. Okay, well, very, very last question because I had to ask because you really know the culture and the scene and stuff. So, being that now you're a big TV personality, you know, drag queens, they love their impersonate, usually singers, but they also do celebrities. What if you happen to see a drag queen impersonate you? What do you think your reaction would be? Oh, I would be flattered. If, if it's done tastefully, I mean, I would love that. What, what, a, what, a, what better tribute is that? Someone is taking their whole personality and, and emulating me? That's, that's an honor. That's fabulous. I love it. I hope somebody does. Okay, I hope so too, because yes. especially doing your uh, spread in there, you were looking sharp. Yes, yes. And I was busting it wide open. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I I love your candor. Like you just say it like you mean it. You know, it is what it is, and you ain't afraid to call nothing out. It ain't like on some, you know, like getting hype stuff. It's just, you know, you just say hey, call it out the way you call it out. And I think that's why people show you much more love. Yeah. So keep keep it up. Keep it one hundred. Oh, that's what's up. thank you very much. Thank you for